Hello everyone. I had a quick glance at paper 3 and I wanted to uh, give my opinion about science and technology section. Paper 3 as we all know is perhaps the most dynamic paper in GS, economy, science and tech, environment, internal security, disaster management. So there are few keywords which are given in your science and technology syllabus and UPSC almost every year you will find that those keywords are picked by UPSC and they will make a question out of it. First thing. Second thing, there are certain themes which have been in news a lot in last few years and UPSC has asked questions on them uh, previ in previous years also, both in prelims and mains examination. One of that theme for example is energy security. You will find many questions on alternative energy sources, uh, potential challenges in prelims as well as in mains examination and this year also you will find that out of four questions of science and technology there were two questions from energy security. One question was about clean energy, uh, future of clean energy in India and you can appreciate that why this theme is important because think about the global market, global scenario right now. Think of the global uncertainties which are happening we are dependent upon uh, oil and natural gas from many other countries. You already know about the American sanctions and American uh, uh, president and his entire threat of tariff. So you already have read about that. So in this entire context, energy security is a very important goal for India as a nation. And you will find that this theme is continuously being asked by UPSC in prelims and mains examination. Even in paper 1, for example, there was a question about benefits of solar energy. Right? In paper 3, you have questions on nuclear fusion, that what is, what has been India's progress in nuclear fusion. The theme of nuclear fusion has been in news a lot for quite some time now. Few years ago, there was net energy gain in one of the fusion facility located in America. And at that point of time, it was in news a lot. So, this was expected perhaps that there will be a question asked by UPSC and given the fact that India has been a member of International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor for quite some time now. Finally, and a question has been asked by UPSC by the way in prelims examination on this theme. So finally, there was a question even in mains examination. You also had to mention about our own initiatives apart from the fact that we are member of ITR, the fact that we have Institute of Plasma Research under Department of Atomic Energy and they built Aditya tokamak or steady state superconducting tokamak. So those things remain in news and there was a question on that. Another theme, semiconductor manufacturing. This you can directly relate to a keyword given in your syllabus which is indigenization of technology. Indigenization simply means developing technology. Uh, in India for Indian requirements. Rather than relying upon other nations, we are trying to be self-reliance in certain domains. Now one of that domain is energy security as I just mentioned, but another domain is electronic sector. That we are highly dependent upon import of electronic and it makes a lot of sense as a result of that, that we become part of the entire semiconductor supply chain. Nobody is saying that we should every we should do everything in India, but it is more about that India is one of the stakeholder in the global supply chain of semiconductor manufacturing. And there has been impetus towards this by this government. Uh, there was there has been an ambitious mission announced by government of India, semiconducting mission, semiconductor mission manufacturing. A lot of incentives are given to private sector uh, for that. So a question was asked from that topic also. What is India plan? What is India's plan? What are the challenges and all of that? Right. So you find that certain themes are important, energy security. Another question by the way, I will, uh, I also think that how UPSC becomes interdisciplinary in some questions. There is a question about energy security, but then the question also talks about how can biotechnology help in that, in, uh, uh, towards that. Now there was a question just last year or last to last year where the question was that how can microbial organisms help in solving energy security of the world. And you find a same theme again asked this year that how can biotechnology help us in solving energy problem. So essentially you had to write about biofuels, 
and even hydrogen production with help of biological methods. So you see this trend that another sorry one more question nanotechnology in agriculture. Let me give you the reason why this question was asked. Few years ago there is a very important cooperative called IFCO and IFCO built this nano urea na two nano fertilizers nano urea and nano DAP and as a result the applications of nanotechnology in agriculture has been in news continuously and the applications are not limited to fertilizers you also have nano pesticides or nano sensors and you do have government of India dedicatedly working towards promoting nanotechnology in many domains one of that domain is in agriculture. So you find a practical application of a very important technology in agriculture. You will also find that agriculture is an important theme. In past UPSC has asked a question that how can biotechnology help farmers. Another few years ago there was a question that how space technology helps in socio-economic development and there you had to write about applications of space technology in agriculture. So similarly this year it was application of nanotechnology in agriculture. So a nanotechnology as a keyword is directly given in your syllabus. So you find that certain themes energy security, use of technology for socio-economic growth of the nation, right? These themes are continuously being asked by UPSC. One theme which was missing in this year examination is space technology which generally is a very important theme. Almost every year there is a question on this topic and it was expected that given that some of the ambitious missions of ISRO in last two, three years, there was perhaps an expectation that there can be a question but there was no question on that. There was another expectation that due to Operation Sindur, maybe there will be question about defense technology or indigenization of defense, but there was not any question on those themes. But that only means that these themes become even more important for next year examination. So aspirants accordingly can make their plan. Before I conclude, I also wanted to mention that how technological solution in environmental problem is emerging as a very important theme. So you'll find few questions like carbon capture, utilization and storage uh, technology to solve environmental problems, right? So you, this is another theme which is emerging and for both prelims and mains examination and uh, aspirants should keep that also in mind that when you read about environmental problem, also read about what are the technological solutions available for them. Okay. So all the best guys for your preparation.